It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. You 6,000 feet in the air. Six bands up. You got the music playing, listening to your tunes. And four twelves in the back just banging. You got a baddie riding shotgun. You just living life. Ayy. Because whipping that thing is the only thing that you like. And then boom. Your engine fail. What you going to do when they come for you? Ayy. Here are five life saving tips to save your life if your engine fails in flight. Let's go. Tip numero uno. You want to pick your best glide speed, lock in, and stay right there. Whenever you have any kind of emergency situation, altitude is your friend. The longer you can stay in the sky, the more time you have to fix anything that may be going wrong with the aircraft. And what gives you time is by picking the best glide speed for your aircraft. So know your best glide speed, have it memorized, and immediately, as soon as you sense anything is wrong, you lock in on that best glide speed. It's going to let you do that exactly that with the aircraft. Glide through the air for as long as possible while maintaining a good pitch attitude while you can figure out everything else that's going on with the aircraft and possibly get some recovery going on with your engine. Tip numero dos. You're going to want to pick your best landing area, baby. And always look in all directions of the aircraft. It can be in front of you, the left, the right. It can be behind you. If you can't see all the way on your right-hand side, tilt the aircraft a little bit. Turn those ailerons a little bit and see, can you see something down there that possibly can be a nice landing area for you? Look behind you. Look to the left, look to the right. Pick a nice, safe landing area. Don't land anywhere where you can't visualize what's going on down below. You want a nice, smooth as possible landing area. You don't want to just land out in some area that looks like it's an open field, but it's really some rocky mountains. That's not going to be good for you. You want to land somewhere that's smooth and as safe as possible. Your last resort may be landing on a freeway. Try to avoid that at all costs, but if you have to do what you have to do, hey, land with traffic. The traffic that's in front of you will keep going. The traffic that's behind you will stop and see that you landed, and you'll land right in between everything. That's your one of your last resorts, but if you have to do that, put the aircraft on the ground as safely and as quickly as possible by picking your best landing area in the area that you have. Doing all of this by doing number one and locking in on that best glide speed. Numero tres. You want to execute a memorized flow check. For every aircraft that you fly, you want to memorize a simple flow check that's going to help you in the case of an emergency. Maybe it may be something that's bottom up, right to left, so you automatically know. The second that you're sitting back chilling and you sense anything is wrong with the engine, you're going to go from the bottom up, you're going to check that fuel valve. Then you're going to come up and you're going to check that power, make sure it's fully in. That mixture, you're going to make sure it's richer than Elon Musk, baby. Car heat, it's all the way in. What's happening with Magneto 1, Magneto 2? Ignition is all the way in. Master switch on. Primer in and locked. That's your flow check. You're going bottom up, right to left. Nice and smooth and calmly as you make sure you assess the situation, all while keeping your eye on number one, which is best glide speed at all times. Number four, you better call Tyrone. It's time to make that radio call, baby. 7700 on that thing and let them know what's going on. Let them know who you are, where you are, and what's popping right now. You know what I'm saying? All in one nice smooth call while remaining calm in that thing. If that engine hasn't popped back yet, let them know what's going on and let them know where you're getting ready anticipating to land. And hey, best of luck to you. You're going to take care of business, baby, because you're the pilot in command. Your number one job is pilot in command, aviate, navigate, communicate. And you're going to do everything in that order. The aviation is already happening with that best glide speed. The navigation, you've already determined the best landing area for that aircraft. And now you're communicating that with your radio call. Aviate, navigate, communicate. And that's going to keep everything in order. And it's going to keep everything going nice and smooth for you as you put the aircraft on the ground nice and safely. Numero cinco. One of my personal favorites. You want to verify all of this with a checklist. It's the reason why I didn't put checklist number one. If you sense that anything is going wrong and it's an emergency situation, your heart is going to be pounding. You're going to be frightened. You're going to be scared. You need to be thinking and acting quickly. Aviate, navigate, communicate, then check the checklist. If you're fumbling around for a checklist first and trying to read through something, you can be in a very bad situation by not making the moves that you need to make to try and get the aircraft back started and on the ground again. Always have your checklist handy. Always have it ready, but make sure you do those other things. Fly the aircraft first at all costs. If the door next to you flies open, fly the aircraft. If a wing falls off, fly the aircraft. Always fly the aircraft first. That is your number one priority. 
checklist is going to come in the order of things and sequence of things after you've done everything else. Remember, memorize your flows, memorize your checklist, and then just verify with the checklist after you've done everything. And this is going to get you in the right order. And another little tip that helps you when you check that checklist, don't look down at the checklist. If the checklist is right in your lap. Bring the checklist up to eye level and look at it while you're glancing at the airspeed because it's all about the airspeed and maintaining altitude as you go. So don't look down at it, bring it up to your eyes and look up at it while you're checking that airspeed. And everything is gonna be everything and you're gonna get the aircraft on the ground safely, baby. And these are five quick tips to get the aircraft on the ground safely if you ever experience an engine failure in flight. If there's anything I missed, please hit the comment section down below and comment down below. What is your check flow list? What do you have memorized and how do you go about things? And if you've ever experienced an engine failure in flight, tell everyone your story so we can all learn from each other and become better in the sky. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this is Leadership Mindset. Big whoa! Subscribe to this channel for more pilot talk, leadership, and self-improvement tips. Love yourself. Hey.